This conference will now be recorded. Okay, so friends, today we will start with the Siddhisthana next chapter. That is the Netra Basti Vyapat Siddhi. So, hope you all have joined and we will start now. Okay, so sequentially, what we have studied before, that we have to recap here in short. First chapter is Kalpana Siddhi. Second one is uh, Panchakarmiya Siddhi. Third one is the Basti Sutriya Siddhi. Fourth one, yesterday, we have seen about the, especially, uh, Sneha Basti Vyapat Siddhi. After that, we will see now Netra Basti Vyapat Siddhi chapter. Now, here we can easily understand how chronologically and sequentially all the chapters of uh, our Charak Samhita has uh, disclosed it. Okay? This conference so, will now be recorded. Very sorry, we have to continue now. The management of complication due to enema nozzle that means the basti putaka we know and the basti netra we know so mainly the chapter name is given by netra basti that is the basti netra actually so basti netra administration or if the problem of basti netras are there they are mainly discussed and later on also some more details are described about basti putak and other things also okay so we'll see one by one now the perception, especially presiding chapter, that is the previous chapter, was Sneha Vapat Siddhi, which was dealing with the management strategies of Sneha Basti Vapat. It clears the Vapat or the complications related to the instrumentation involved in either kind of Basti or not addressed in previous chapter. So these are the important things. That means if the Sneha Basti Vapat are describing about the proce not procedural uh, complications, okay, about ingredients such. But here in this chapter, we are discussing mainly about the instrumentation uh, involvement for complications. Especially we know that Naitra means the Basti Naitra is the nozzle designed for animal and basti putaka that is the bag design for enema that will affect the procedure and vapor takes place means vishak dravyanu pasthata rogi pada chatushtiyam this is the one thing and in that upasthata is also a fourth pillar for the uh, successful management of any disease or the disease one so in that one not only about the basti netra, not about the basti puta, but the basti data uh, induced complications or upasthata induced complications are also described in this chapter. Okay, so title of the chapter, even though encompasses only netra and basti, but here the praneta, that means either upasthata or that particular vaidya, Ayurvedic physician that also may cause complications that we are going to discuss in this chapter. Hence, skill of the physician is usually tested when he enters the enema of a basti practice. Now, a lot of factors apart from clinical and theoretical knowledge are involved in a proper conduct of basti. So, instrumentation and the technique are two such important factors. Charak mainly based on the most suitable and available material. Now see Basti Puta, whatever, or Basti Netra. Those all things which are described in the text is the availability of the resources as per that period. Okay. Now today, the same way or the same science mechanism we can achieve through either enema pot, either plastic bag, or various kind of syringes and the uh, metal nozzles or the fiber nozzles are also available or we can use disposable material also as per the 
necessity and availability. So innovations need to be put into the practice, but it must protect the fundamental principles of Ayurveda. To prevent complications during Basti procedure, there are two aspects of a physician. So the first is the extent of theoretical knowledge regarding Basti, and the second one, his expertise in that particular procedure. Okay, so this is very necessary. One is the cognitive domain, and one is actually the skill. So identifying specific complications is made possible as part of a regular event evaluation, irrespective of manifestation of any complication. Now, rectification of mistakes committed in technique are of immense value with respect to development of the standard operating procedures. The management of complications with respect to acute and chronic events is also an important aspect in Siddhista. So that is the uh, speciality of Siddhista. Now, this was the, about uh, Vishay Pravesh or introduction just. Now, actually guidance start from the four towards that the first eight defects of Basti Netra, that is the nozzle, and what it creates the harmful effect or the complication that are described first. Raswan Dirgam Tanus Kulam, Jiranam Shithila Bandhanam, Parva Shvidram Tatha Vakram, Ashtam Netraani Varje. Now, these are the dosha or the defects. And accordingly, by sequence, it creates the following complications. Aprapti, Atigati, Kshobha, Karshana, Shanana, Sravaha, Budapira, Gatirjimham, Tesham, Dosha, Yathakrama. So, first of all, Rastva, that is too small, Basti Nitra. Dirgham, that is, means too long. Tanu is too thin. Tulam, that is too thick. Next is Jirnam, that is old and multilated. Then Shithila Bandhanam. Okay, that is that the Shithila Bandhanam is not tied properly, having loosely tied or inappropriate, inappropriate fastening of Basti Putak with the Netra. So the attachment of Basti Netra and Basti Putak. Then Parshva Chidram, having hole laterally on either side of the Netra. That means the Netra himself has, uh, itself has some defects like a hole. So the Basti Dravya will go out from that particular, uh, we can say Chidra, Parshu Chidra. Vakram, having bends or curves, which this dosha of Basti Netra should be avoided. Now you can see here there are various uh, kind of Basti Netra, which we have took available from, you know, uh, photographs and in last photograph you can see on that green background that the Basti Putak with Basti Netra have given here and instead of using animal urinary bladder or you, uh, that bladder particularly plastic bags are used. Now see clearly which kind of defect creates which kind of complication which are not expected ideally that are discussed in this table. So the first, if suppose the rasvam, that means to spawn. So what will happen? A prapti result will be there. Means medication or that basti dravya will not reach at the intended site, that is the rectum and colon. So it will be just in the anal canal and it will be pass immediately. So there will be no use of the basti procedure. Second, dirgham. So what will happen? Dirgham means a long one. So that long one will go more deep and it will create the dosha or complication that is atigati. That means medication overreaching or crossing the intended site. Next is tanu. Now tanu will create shobha. Tanu is too thin. Means the Basti Netra, we have discussed in previous Basti Sutri Adhyay that it that uh, patient side will be of little finger and, and the Basti Putak side or the Basti back side will be of thumb side. <coughs> Sorry. So 
it will be not of that kind it will be too thin okay so that will create shoba shoba means medication reaches to buddha only and it causes shoba that is the discomfort by its movement there or sometimes it will hit at the anal walls due to loose dimensions so this will be the third basti netra dosh for this stulam stulam is is too bigger size so di diameter of that basti netra will be of bigger size so this will be a karshana it will create attributes due to over size means it will not easy to insert the anus of the patient mm -hmm. even though and if you will try it will create the karshana okay, okay. then next is jirnam so jirnam will create shanan that is the it will inflict the wound okay next to that shitila bandhanam that means you have not tried tied it properly that the joint of basti putak and basti netra will be little bit shitila that is the loose one so it will create srava that is the leakage of medication while administered so it will also waste the basti material also as well as not proper pressure will be developed and proper amount of the medicine will not administer in the rectum okay next to that parshva chidram it will create buddha pida now causing pain and discomfort to the buddha that the basti netra which we have inserted into the anal canal if the basti is passing by this side hole it will create the buddha pida or pain at the anal region or anal canal next one is eighth one that is the last that is vakra vakra means gatir jimha that means medication travels transversely into the colon means not proper administration with proper dose and proper way will be there and it will be uh, create the abnormal we can say speed into the colon so these are the defects of basti nitra after that basti nitra in the instrumentation part of basti there is basti putak now we know that basti putak the next slide we have described here see basti putak is nothing but the bag which is holding that basti material that is drava dravya which is a mixture of sandav madhu lavana uh, sorry sandav madhu taila and kwatha and kalkals that mixture uh, is supposed to be properly retained in the bag and it should be pushed it is supposed to be pushed ancient times you can see there are two kind of bladders are given there just for demo purpose i have also taken it from internet okay eight defects of basti putak we will discuss now vishama mausala chinna thula janika vatala hat snigdha klinnascha tanashto bastin karmasu varche and synonymously or sorry sequentially it will create the particular dosha or the defect so the vishama defect will create complication that is the irregular or uneven structure so it is not having proper structure mausala that is the very fleshy or bulky or pulpy chinna that is the perforated or cut through or okay. torn then the sthula is the thick or large fifth is a jalika that is having many pores vatala sixth that is containing air so now in this bag also you can see the air is there so that is not supposed to be then snigdha that is viscous oily slippery or greasy and last one is clean that is putrefied means rotted one so it will very smell badly and that's why this defect should not be there in basti puta so here again it is described in detail in this table that the first column is describing about the defect name resultant dosha that is the complication is described so vishama putak will create gati vaishamya that is difficult passage of the medication or that material then mausala that is too much thick basti putak that will cause 
cause vistratva that is mustiness of the vasti then chin that will create srava that is a abrupt leakage of medication next one is stulam means daurga daurgrahya difficult to hold or grip while administration but it is not easy to push it properly then fifth is jalika it will create nisrava so that jalika means two sm small holes will be there in the basti uh, putam like jali or we can say mesh that flowing out of medication will be there from the basti putam then sixth is vatala vatala will create phenylalkoh that is prodinet of medication that foaming uh, activity will be there which is not proper for basti seventh is snigdha that is chuti means slippery while administration so if we will hold it will slip okay that is the snigdha it will be slip from our hold or palms then eighth is the klinna that is adhyav okay adh adharyatva sorry that means non effective for administration so klinna will be too much we can say uh having smell rotted smell bad smell so it is not good for all things it may create infection such okay so by this basti putak now uh, good enema pots are available where we can control with the nozzle also and proper flow can be maintained okay without uh, with holding that enema pot on a we can say uh, saline stand also or you can tie it on your wall also that the treatment or the therapy room and you can maintain it properly okay as well if you want the same pressure many people especially in the south uh, uh, india they do use this plastic bags which are very very uh, we can say easily for administration and use also okay so next errors by basti administrator now now this basti administrator who is doing the basti procedure that the first basti procedure who is doing that one is the physician himself second one is the upasthata means the panchakarma therapist or assistant doctor so it will be savat ati druta kutshipt tiryak ullukt so this 10 doshas are described now see basti netra dosha basti putak dosha they are eight each and now the administrator that is basti pranetru okay who is giving basti that person's dosha are described here that are the 10 one now most frequently asked questions are there for bio marks these all uh, three uh, topics are important so savatam is basti filled with air atidruta is very fast utshipta is raised or upwards tiriya is oblique or sideways or transverse ullukta is taken out next is kampita that is with trembling or shaking hands ati means excess or too far then bahyaga that is outside or diverting diverting form then mandavega very slow ati vega very speedy now these are the complications of the made by the administrator okay so these are the errors of the administrator if the skill is not there negligence is there even though basti netra is proper basti putak is proper you are selected proper medicines but if the procedural defect is there by the administrator then definitely it will not be useful as per the classical uh, you can say usefulness or fruitfulness of particular that procedure so basti filled with air we have discussed all those things next to that we have here now this 10 dosha and their effect and management by the basti pranetru means the vata etc so are describe what it creates the effect and how we can manage it. okay so the first one administration of uh, medicine medication from an improperly 
and or tied basti complete emptying of basti will cause entry of air into the recta means while in the basti putta in the basti netra that you have kept some quantity of air and you have pushed it with or you have pushed, uh, made empty all pot and after making all pot or syringe empty you will push vatas so this will create the vata dosha vata dosha gets vitiated inducing shula and todha that is sharp acute pain and freaking pain so the management for this vata dosha is abhyanga that is you know oleation or unction then sveda that is fermentation to buddha and consumption of diet comprising of vata dosha pacifying items now here the details are not described that for abhyanga which oil you are supposed to do for sveda dashamula decoction you have to use so such details are not described but the only management guideline chikitsa sutra is described here now next doshas are ati druta and uchchipta so ati druta and uchchipta these doshas are discussed together that is the fast insertion and fast withdrawal okay of that basti nozzle so in case of very fast insertion and withdrawal of netra and introduction of netra in upward direction will create pain occurs in vest rectum and calf along with thigh now for that the management will be consumption of diet comprising of vata dosha pacifying items unctions fermentation and bus next one is tiryak dosha that is improper direction of insertion it should be in the way of anal canal left lateral position you have uh no the patient is or the person is lied and in the direction with anal canal you are supposed to insert it. so this occurs due to insertion of netra in improper direction where the aperture gets obstructed by gudavai and some material like thread knot may occlude the inner hole so inside us next one that the netra should be withdrawn either reinserted in proper direction or that particular obstruction must be removed now next to that ullukta and kampita these both doshas together that is the improper squeezing of basti putta and trembling while administration is discussed if the skill is not there this is have these all doshas are happen or negligence is also the second cause if the squeezing of basti is interrupted in between that will cause obstruction to vata dosha and in turn it vitiates it resulting in pain in the chest and head along with the weakness of eyes now for these problems dosha the management will be administering basti comprising of dashamula that is the vata hara dravya shama and gomutra okay so in case of trembling of hands while introduction of the netra burning sensation that davatu davatu is a particular pain with the uh, we can say inflammation or feeling hit with pain that is davatu and swelling occur in buddha now next to that the management is seka that is the pouring of particular uh, warm decoctions and basti has to be done with medicines having astringent and sweet taste and the cold state here davatu is there that's why the fermentation uh, is not directly expected so that dravya should be of cold one ati dosha that is excessive deep insertion of that particular basti netra by the basti pranayatu that is the administrator so what will happen extensive deep insertion of netra into buddha inflicts injury to buddha vali and results in pain so the burning sensation freaking pain prolapse of buddha 
and abrupt unexpected defecation will be there so to manage this problem we have to do pichu with cow ghee and milk and pichcha basti now what is the pichcha basti it's uh, milk with mocha rasa okay mocha is the shalmali so the powder of shalmali twak or skin is called as a mocha rasa and that is mix or cook with the cow milk and that medicated milk pushing uh, in the form of basti is called pichcha basti it is supposed to be done here okay now next to that manda vega and ati vega that is very slow and very fast administration what it will create that are described here in case of first one that is the slow administration medicine doesn't reach to pakwasha and is ineffective so administrator diverting from buda that is the fast one the medicine is expelled out faster so in both cases the management will be done by sneha basti that is the anuvasan basti medicated oil enema and in case of speedy administration either medicine stage is the fourth or ascends up to gala that is the throat one then next to that basti vrechan and tight gripping of the neck are to be done now tight of gripping of the neck is a little bit difficult one so here we summarize the chapter that an intelligent physician who learned the dosha of netra basti and praneta properly along with the management shall practice the basti otherwise what will happen the material is good that means you have chosen very properly medicine thinking all the patient is cooperative following all pathya pathya but if the administrator that is the upasthata assistant doctor or the physician is not doing it properly then it will be problematic okay so this is the summary of uh, our today chapter so today chapter we have here concluding but if you have questions you can